integrate the practice of yoga, integrate the practice of movement, of connection, union to mind and body and spirit. And we use the breath, which is the bridge between the mind and body to help integrate that connection. And then very slowly begin to make your way onto your back. of security and having a weighted blanket and um, it's like grounding so um, and you guys can use any blanket it doesn't need to be like a yoga blanket it's just marketing yes and it's also nice if you, can, if you have an eye pillow handy take your eye pillow place it right over the eyes especially if there's sunlight in the room like there is here is that comfortable for you actually mm -hmm. process of integration, letting go, easing into surrender. Where can you release within your body? What is holding you or resisting you from fully releasing and letting go? Send the breath to those areas. Same thing like in meditation where you begin to turn your attention inward. Begin to relax the space between the eyebrows. Soften the jaw by gently parting your lips.
to bring awareness back to the body. Begin to wiggle your fingertips and then gently wiggle your toes. And then very slowly and mindfully begin to rotate the head from side to side. Go slow because you're coming from stillness back into movement. Go slow these movements. There's no rush. present to what is. Staying present to the integration, to the surrender, to stillness, to practice. And then very, very slowly and very gently begin to draw your knees in towards your chest. either the right or left side. Yogi's choice. And then very slowly and very mindfully begin to press yourself up into a seated position. And land on your cushion, your mat, your blanket, whatever is around. slowly begin to allow the eyes to float open and then draw the hands to heart center and bowing the chin to chest bowing to you in honor of you taking the time to be here now to nourish mind body and spirit Nourishing the student and teacher within you, the guide. Nourishing the strength from within, building stability, awareness, creating union with you, one with you. And as you lift your head in gratitude, The light in me honors the light in you. Namaste. Namaste. Thank you so much thank you. for it letting me wonderful. guide you. I really appreciate it. So thank you. You're welcome. Um, one thing I'm going to say just before I cut out is that um, the old adage that my mom always told me, you can learn something from everyone. What I learned from this yoga practice this week is how much we need to work with other people to be our best selves. I just spent the last 10 days in Hawaii teaching yoga and I realized that even though I was doing yoga every day, I was not challenging myself because I was my own teacher. So I guess when things got hard, maybe I used that as an opportunity to walk around and do corrections. And I realized in this practice today, which was extremely difficult for me and normally this routine would not have been so difficult before my trip, I realized that in order for each of us to be our best selves, we are meant to work with the community, to have interactions with other individuals. I'm not saying to pay someone for something. I'm just saying um, we weren't meant to live alone. We were meant to coexist and we really need to collaborate with others in order to get the best results for ourselves. So I encourage everyone today to um, open their minds to be receptive to how can I work with someone else to better achieve my own goals. Namaste.